Alrighty, welcome one and all to Ebots HD's tutorial on motion track particles within Adobe After Effects CS5 and Buju. Alright, uh, here's a quick example of what we're going to be doing today. In this cinematic, you can see that all the particles are motion tracked along with the text. So if you just take a look at it quick here, you can see that all the particles are moving with the text and moving with the scene, and it looks pretty good. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is render your clip or cinematic or whatever you're using as a JPEG sequence and then import it into Buju. Now, I already have a tutorial on how to use Buju and how to motion track with Buju, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. And just to save time on this tutorial, I'm not going to go over that again. But once you get all of your Buju track done, you're going to want to go to Export, Export Camera Solve, and scale your scene by 1000 and save it as an After Effects My file. You can save it wherever you please. Now I've already saved it so if we jump straight into After Effects we can just import that file. It's in my editing bullshit folder. All right. So here we go. Now what it'll give you is a composition. So what you're going to want to do is open that composition up and drag your clip, cinematic, whatever, right into it. And as you can see, if you look at all the null objects here, it is tracked quite nicely. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a new solid layer, I'll just call it particles, hit OK. And you're going to want to apply trap code particular to that layer. Now, as you can see, we already got our particles right here, just kind of chilling there. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go down to the emitter tab here, change the emitter to a box, and then we're going to want to move that box sort of towards the center of where our, like right on top of where we tracked. So if you see here, you might want to since you have one of these null objects here, what I did was I looked at the position of it, then went into the particles, changed that to uh, saying negative 256 and negative 1. So as you can see now, that looks very weird. Maybe just change this to negative like 1. Yeah, there we go, now it's better tracked. Say the middle here. Move it a little bit. Oh, I know what the problem is. It's a little f far ahead of the Z. Okay, so now we go. Here we are. Looking tracked good. It's tracked nicely. Alright, so first thing you did after you changed it to box is you can see that once they just form, they're just sporadically moving wherever they please, and that's really not good. Move that a little bit. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn your emitter size like way up just so you can like, so it spreads the particle way out. I change this to maybe a thousand, this to like maybe 800, and the Z to maybe 500, just so all the particles are really spread out. And as you can tell, they're already motion tracked in particular just because like, Particular is a 3D based plugin, and once you add a camera, like the motion tracked camera, it just the camera moves with the particles. And as you can tell, it already looks pretty nice. Honestly, you can leave this right here if you just want to kind of want like randomly sporadic moving particles in your cinematic, but I don't really want that. So, if we move this over a little bit, maybe spread it out on the Z a little more, all the particles look pretty nice there. Maybe change this a little bit. Play with it a little bit. Alright, there we go. So, first thing you're going to want to do is all the particles are looking a little small. So, I turn my size up to like maybe 7, so they're a little bit bigger. And I change the life of them to 15 seconds, just so more of them kind of last there. And what I did is in the beginning, 
if you zoom in a little bit here, I keyframed where the particle growth would be. So I started out at 2,000 keyframe, and then I went forward 10 frames, and if I, you hit U on a particular layer, I made a keyframe there. And then I went forward another frame and changed it to 100. So you have a rapid particle growth, and then there's just slowly some adding on. Now, this looks all right. There are a few things we can do. First thing, you can go to your physics and change the gravity to, say, negative 1, so that after they form, they start floating upwards, which looks pretty cool, I guess. That's what I did for mine, at least. Like You can tell here they're kind of floating up. But they still have that random movement to them, and that I wasn't really fond of. So I think what we did was we turned down the velocity from even, like, 100's pretty high for velocity, so you can either change it to, like, straight 0 or, like, 10 or 15. So just that there's a little bit of movement, but it's not, like, annoying. Like, it's not just random, annoying movement. Now, there are a lot of particles on here, so I might tone down the light to like 10 seconds, or maybe like 8, so some of the particles disappear. After a little bit here. There we go, maybe, maybe 10. Okay, so once you have your particles here, they're all motion tracked and they all look okay, but one problem you're going to run into is it looks like the particles are forming behind this box, this like little like stand here. So what I kind of did was I toned down the emitter size a little bit and then pushed it forward in front of the box just so you didn't have that like strange look of it forming behind it. Now that led to a lot of particles being in front of the camera than there used to be. So I might go back here, tone that down to say 1500. Go here, tone that down to 1500. And um, if we take a look here, it's looking pretty good. Alright, so. That is it for this tutorial, guys. Up next, maybe expect some element tutorials or maybe a couple color correction presets I'm going to give you. But um, for now, that is it. Thank you, guys. Um, in the comments, maybe leave some suggestions for tutorials. And uh, as always, drop this video a like. Thanks for watching. This is Epots, and I'm Audi5000.